cloning the old way. Do it with Arman, probably the best technique. It can be scripted. And as an example of scripting it, let me pull up a shell script, which I think I have one here. And I do. This is an example of a script. something for work in progress that we wrote a while back. This was um, originally developed for a particular client who needed to clone databases every day. A whole set of databases were going to be cloned every night for reporting purposes for the next day. And then there were other clones that were going to be made, I think, every month. And in addition to that, large numbers of ad hoc clones done from time to time for building up the development systems. So the technique we would have to do in the scripts, this automates the whole process. Uh, some of this is just fairly standard with the uh, Unix shell scripting. You know, we're going to email messages when things happen because it's all going to be scheduled through cron. We use a function here to work out the date. In this particular time, we're setting, setting the time of the clone to 8 o'clock in the evening because that was the time that the clone database was meant to be for consistency for reporting. Um, prompts for what the database should be, the source database name, the destination database name. Numerous checks, numerous checks have to go through. Yes, I'll be already running the script, for instance. And eventually, we get to the guts of it, which begins here. So we connect to the clone database, terminate the clone, drop the database. And this is where the bad news starts. Our downtime begins here. The reporting system is offline at, as of this point. Having dropped the source database, what do we do next? Generate a parameter file for the new version of the clone, because the SP file will have been destroyed by the drop. Create a parameter file for the clone. Start up off that parameter file. Then finally, connect with our man, set our until time, and create the database. So we connect to the catalog, we connect to the target, we connect to the auxiliary, and at last we can run the duplicate target database command. And if this database is many hundreds of gigabytes, possibly terabytes big, there's an awful lot of downtime as we go through that duplicate. And afterwards, convert to archive log mode, a few checks. And finally, after all that, we can make the database available for users. Both database open and users can now log on. And that's an awful lot of downtime as the entire database is first destroyed and then reproduced. And in fact, if you look at the um, script, yes, 344 lines of shell scripts to do that. So we can do this. You know, we can clone databases using scripts under Unix, and we can also do it under Windows. But it's a lot of work. So what I want to move on now, well, it's a lot of work, a lot of disk space, a lot of downtime while the clone's in progress. So now we can move on to the new technique.